Okay, 2003 Ford Econoline van. Uh, wiper motor not turning on and washer pump not pumping. Let's go through the basics. First of all, I'm gonna check the fuse for it. According to my wiring schematic here, this fuse Two point nine is my thirty amp fuse that feeds the wiper motor and the wiper control, um, the actual multifunction switch here. So let's look and see. Make sure we got power. Uh, what I'm using today as a test tool is I have a very nice reversible uh, logic probe. power ground there's a little ground cable off the side if you need to supply ground or something the other end hooks up to the battery out there so let's go to 2.9 and see if we got power on both sides okay so we got voltage on one side let's see if we got voltage on the other we got voltage on the other so, uh, 2003 E350 Econoline, I have a switch. The customer has been working on themselves, um, but I have a switch that is not actuating the wiper motor or it's not turning on the actual pump itself. So we're gonna go through this and see. Just some basic preliminary stuff up front. Check the fuse. Fuse is this fuse nine right here. It's got power on both sides. Then come up here to this module, stuck up under the dash right here. And you'll have to like bend the bracket down some and then pull it out. And then you will unhook this module. And you'll test for power, test for ground. This dark green wire here should have power on it. Flip it over to the other side. This dark green wire should here, here should have power on it on the opposite side and then you have two light blue wires one next to the dark green it's a light blue and a black and then a black and a white don't do that one go to the next one a light blue and a black those two both should have ground so all that checks out so far so now what I'm going to go through and do is I'm going to do the individual component testing back here to the switch but the ignition needs to be in the off position so Go ahead and turn this off. And then we'll go through and do the individual component testing. Just so you can see, um, this is where I check for uh, ignition on measure the voltage between the wiper control motor and the control measure the voltage between wiper control module C2157 circuit 65 and ground so that's where I showed you the dark the dark green wire on one side the dark green wire on the other side they should be more than 10 volts yes go to B3 measure the resistance between the wiper control module And ground so I'm gonna go check these pins right now so this is uh, with the tabs facing up one two three four pins over and ground let's see what they say all right just so you know I did both of these just now so if you're looking at the connector like this it's one two three four bottom pins over and it was 0 0.1 0 0.2 which is normal and then five six so that four pin on the bottom and that six pin on the bottom were both zero now we go to the next test. The next test says with the ignition off, turn the multifunction switch all the way up to the top double arrows and then measure between the second in bottom pin and the last bottom pin. The resistance should be less than five ohms. So I got it all the way at the highest position right now. So I got it all the way up. And now I'm gonna measure those two pins. Is the resistance less than five ohms? Yes, go to B7. 
Connect the wiper control module. Disconnect the wiper motor. Turn the multifunction switch to the high position. And then measure the voltage between the wiper control or the wiper motor pin 3 and the wiper motor pin 5. So pin 3. Let's go look and see what that is. So leave it in the position that it's in. Just disconnect the wiper motor under the cowl and plug your module back in. So you can see where somebody's already been in here working. The wires are kind of chafed back. But what you want is you want that third wire, that yellow and red wire in the middle, and then you want this black wire on the end. And they want you to measure the voltage between those two. Okay, so I forgot to say, whenever you check this, you want to make sure the ignition is on. So, connected the module switch, I disconnected the wiper motor, I just pulled it back enough to get it off the pins because somebody's already been in there working. If you want to take it completely off, you're going to have to remove the wiper motor, which I didn't want to do that. Ignition on, measure the voltage between wiper motor pin 3, which is the center pin, and uh, the wiper motor circuit 58. Oh, I was on the wrong one to be going. I need to go to that white pin. Actually, there's W right there for white. I should have been on that one. Let me check it. Okay, I went to the white pin, and uh, is the voltage greater than 10 volts? No, go to B8. Ignition off disconnect the wiper control module so ignition off disconnect the module again measure the resistance between the wiper control module circuit 61 and the middle pin of the wiper motor connector so they want you to go from here to the middle pin there. Is the resistance less than 5 ohms? Yes, replace the control module. No, repair the circuit. So let's find out. So I went ahead and pulled the module apart because it's apparent that the module is bad. You know, I tested, we tested between the pins here to the motor, it was good. We put this in high and tested the resistance in the switch. I went ahead and pulled the module apart and you can see where there's multiple breaks inside the circuitry of this module. Here there's a break. See how dark it is? Here there's another break. It's trash. So this module is uh, this module is bad. And there's a number inside. I don't know if it'll do anything for you. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to parts and see what one of these costs through us. Also, while this thing was plugged in, I went ahead and supplied uh, power to the actual washer pump. Um, so I went to, let's see here. Where's the washer pump at? Right here. I actually went to the black and white wire and sent power down it from the module because the module is not sending power. So with it plugged in right here, I actually flipped the switch around and went to that black and white wire and sent power down it and the washer pump actually turned on. So I checked this circuit. I proved this circuit out all the way I proved my switch and stuff out by doing the pinpoint test. I made sure I had power and ground to the module. The module just won't do anything internally. So I need a new module. There you go. There's the part number. Y Charlie 2Z 17 Charlie 476A. There's the old module. These aren't common to go out, but in this situation, this was it. So if you follow this pinpoint test, uh, you can diagnose this module too, or you can just pull the module off and open it up and see if the circuitry is broken like I showed you in here. That's it guys. Thanks. Wiper governor box mounts right up underneath here. Okay, I just snapped the new module in. No programming involved. And let's try these. Okay. All right, spraying. All the customers' concerns are are worked out. Wipers are working fine. Switch is fine. 
it all came back down to that wiper governor box is what it's called.